All right, so in this video, we're going to kind of uh, deal with delays. Now, delays happen for several uh, several reasons. Um, but what you want to do is if you're recording and uh, it's just always delayed, go to this little button that's called Tools. And down below, you see, hey, latency test. You click onto that. Now, once you start the test, it's going to kind of figure out um, what your speed needs to be. Okay. Now, we start the test. Now, it's not going to work on our end because I've already done this, but I'm also talking. And I've got my microphone plugged in, so that's not good. Um, but you go ahead and you, you, you run the test. And if after running the test, and let's say it's it's a little better, but it's not quite. Generally, it's because you have a uh, an older computer or a computer that just doesn't want to work as hard. Um, that's still not a bother. Once you let's just say that you record it here, this particular track, and it's delayed. You can click onto it, and then you can kind of push it forward just a little bit and you push it just to make sure that it's synced up with everything else um, worst case scenario just leave it and somebody will just take care of it later no problem at all um, but that kind of solves that now if you move it and you're like ah it's you know you, I, I keep moving it for I'm moving it too forward I'm moving it too backwards and I just can't seem to get it right it's always good to zoom in as much as you can because the more you zoom in the more control you have so you can move it you you can move it in like millimeters this way um, to to help it be more more accurate all right guys so um, in this section we're gonna go over what to do when it's clipping or I'm trying to record and it's static and it's like, why does that happen? Um, I keep getting this static and it sounds all bad. Well, the, the number one reason is because um, if you're operating with an older computer or a computer that's not very fast, you're going to generally have those problems. The best solution is just to get a newer computer. Uh, but most of us, we're just not able to do that. So we have to kind of do what we can um, to to uh, help our com help our computer out. Now, the first thing that that's really really important is that you go to your histories button. Um, go to your histories button, and then what you want to do is get rid of everything. Clear your browsing data. Okay. Now, clearing your data allows your computer some relief. It's almost like putting some weight off of your computer. So that's, uh, that's number one. You go ahead and, and, and clear your data. Number two is you make sure you don't make sure you have no running files open, your emails or anything, any apps that are open, you make sure that's done. Now, after you've you've done all that, what you want to do is you just want to kind of refresh um, your computer. Um, and once it refreshes, it's going to ask you to log back in. Um, you go ahead and log in and it should be a little bit cleaner. Now, if you go and you record, you're still having those problems. Um, you you just have to just keep refreshing until it, it gets to where it needs to be a uh, couple of also important things is make sure your computer is completely powered that helps when um, your computer is completely fully powered uh, number two um, uh, make sure that there's a button here that's called I'm clicking on it freeze tracks if you're singing and there's tracks you really don't want to you don't want to use you freeze that track um, that that helps better than just muting um, the track it allows your computer to just disregard that that 
that track is there because even though a track is muted it still requires power but if you freeze it then uh, that allows you your 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 that frees your computer up so the bottom line is you want to unfreeze your computer as much as possible because BandLab requires a lot of power. So if you're having issues, it's power, get rid of stuff, data, clear your browsing history, refresh, start again, and just keep doing that. Now, if all that's said and done and you're still having issues, um, I know it's you can record and then all the parts that sounds like scratchy, just, re, just redo those, those parts. But the real answer is you may want to think about getting a new computer.